Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to discuss about field macros in UVM. So what are these uh, field macros in UVM? So in our previous sessions when we were discussing about copy method, do copy method. So the copy method and do copy method. So if we were using a copy method or a do copy method. So copy method was calling do copy method internally and all the user defined copy operations which we were de uh, declared in this particular do copy method was being implemented and if we were not writing this do copy method then no copy operation is being performed even if we call the do copy method right so this uh, this is what we have seen now without using this do copy method or do print method let's see what is the alternate way for performing this functions like copy do, uh, and uh, compare and clone so basically we have in UVM, uh, we have UVM field macros that were used between begin and block, begin and utility macros are basically uh, called field macros since they operate on class properties and provide automatic implementations, automatic implementations. We are not writing any do copy or do, uh, do compare, do print, we are not writing anything, okay. Uh, implementations of core methods like copy, compare and print and this helps the user save some time for implementing custom do copy, do compare and do print. So we are not writing anything when we are using this particular macros for each and every class. But these macros are expanded into general code and may uh, impact simulation performance and generally not recommended. Okay, these are not recommended but we will see uh, how to use this macros also. So this uh, UVM field macros uh, corresponding to the data types of each variable should be used. For example, if, we, if the variable is an int data type, then we should use stick UVM underscore field underscore int we are going to use. And if the variable is a bit data type, then we are going to use stick UVM underscore field underscore bit. So according to the type of the uh, variable which we are having, we are going to use this particular uh, corresponding uh, data type. Okay. For example, here we have so uvm underscore field underscore int, which variables of type string we should use stick uvm underscore field underscore string and so on. So the macros accept at least two arguments, arg and flag, argument and flag. So this particular macros need two arguments. Let's see. So one is argument. So the name of the variable whose type should be appropriate for the macro that is used and another is flag. So this flag is again, we have different type of flags in this. So one is uvm underscore all underscore on that is all the operations will be turned on on this particular property and if it is uvm underscore default then it enables all the operations and equivalent to uvm underscore all underscore on and if we use this particular flag uvm underscore no copy on a particular variable then copy operation will not be performed on it and if you are going to use uvm no compare then uh, then the property on that particular property comparison operation will not be performed and if you are going to use uvm no print then uh, printing operation is not going to perform okay so this is what we are going to see with some example now uh, let's uh, see one example of how this field macros are working so let's create a packet and it is extending from uvm object and let us first register this particular packet uvm underscore object underscore utils underscore begin we are going to register this packet and here I am going to use my uvm field macros. So uvm underscore field underscore int. So let me create some variables. Let me create some properties here. So let's say first property is int data and another property let's say reg 3 down to 0 address and one more thing is uh, int let's say logic enable. So these are my three properties which I am having and here I am going to use it. So data comma, let's say it is uh, the flag is uvm underscore all underscore on. Okay. And uh, for my address signal, so tick uvm underscore field underscore int my address signal. It, let's say it is uvm underscore no copy. Okay. And uh, for my enable signal uvm underscore field underscore int it is uh, enable comma uvm underscore no compare okay so these are my uh, flags which i have given followed by 
tick uvm underscore uvm underscore object underscore utils underscore end okay now so this is my class which i am writing and uh, let me create a function new where i am going to have string name which is equal to my packet and yeah and i am going to pass it super dot new of name okay and followed by end function now followed by end class so within a top module what i am going to do is i am going to create my packet instances first first packet p1 underscore h comma p2 underscore h and within an initial beginning block let me create the packet objects p1 underscore h is equal to packet type uh, id create of p1 underscore h and uh, similarly i am going to create my object for p2 underscore h so let me copy this and paste it over here so p2 underscore h is equal to i have created my packets and in this particular okay and let's say i am going to call the copy method p2 underscore h dot copy of p1 underscore h okay and let's say uh, let me write one more function display function function void display it is expecting a string name handle and it is going to display dollar display percentage is the value of data is percentage d and value of address is percentage d and value of enable is percentage d comma data comma address comma enable and uh, i should also write here handle so this things i am uh, going to display and followed by end function now here i am going to call the function p1 underscore h dot display and p2 underscore h dot display so i am going i am calling these two functions and in this and in module so let's see what we are getting let me run this so i am calling the copy function and i am calling the display function and let me include the libraries also first so let me include them so let me include the libraries tick uvm tick include uvm underscore macros dot svh and uh, import uvm underscore package let me save this and uh, let me enable the uvm 1.0 also yes let me save and run and i should pass the handle name here so i should pass p1 underscore h and i will pass here p2 underscore h let me save this and run this yes so p1 underscore is the value of data is zero and the value of address is unknown we are getting we have not uh, given any values right so let me declare them as rand variables so rand int ran reg and ran logic okay so let me randomize them first so p1 underscore h dot randomize so i'm randomizing and let me save this and run this so the value of data is uh, something and we are getting and the value of address is 3 and the value of uh, enable is 0 so p2 underscore h the data is being successfully copied if you see but coming to the value of address it is not getting copied why because here we have written address dot uvm underscore no copy okay and if you perform a compare method also it is not going to be compared so this is how we can uh, control our copy method do copy method and uh, compare method so without using uh, our do 
do copy and do compare also we can control them whether should they should be enabled or they should not be enabled using the field macros so that's all about this particular video so if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vlsa thank you for watching this video